everybody, this is Patricia Davidson and I thought I would do a quick tutorial on how to use Lightroom's new radial filter tool. Um, I've been reading the Lightroom 5 Up to Speed book by Craft and Vision over at Craft and Vision and um, it's got some really great um, information. It's I'm not quite finished with it yet, but one of the things I had learned was the radial filter tool and I thought it would be a perfect one for this photo to demonstrate it to you because um, I just want to affect one area of the photo. So uh, I was just up at the Palouse in Washington and as you can see this is the original photo. Um, I had to wait about 20 minutes for the light to be just right and the clouds um, there was a lot of clouds overhead and they were moving and so I waited till that hillside um, just lit up and the canolas just really shined so um, I was pretty pleased with the exposure I just wanna wanted to do a couple of things to this photo um, over here there was a stump covered with grass or wheat um, and I touched it up actually removed it. Um, I also brightened it up just a little bit. Um, this is closer to what my eye saw that day. And then I'm going to um, use the radial filter tool just to lighten this area around the bar and the trees just a little bit. Um, it looks a little too dark to me so I'm going to go ahead and click on this tool. Uh, you want to make sure that you invert the mask so that where you draw the tool, um, the radial, it only affects the inside and not your entire picture. So um, I'm going to go ahead and draw this out. Just going to go pretty much around the whole, uh, around the trees, but I'm not, I don't really want to affect the grass here for the wheat field. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to play with the exposure just a little bit, not too much. That looks a little unreal if I do it too much. Um, and a little bit on the shadows. That's pretty much it. I didn't want to bright it, brighten it up too much, but just a little bit because it was just bothered me that it was a little too dark. So that's pretty much it. It's a really easy tool and I recommend that you check it out. Um, and I really appreciate you watching this video and talk to you later. Bye.